Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at this new design I came up with for the mini lathe. This is a, uh, a quick tool change spindle for, you know, basically any type of mini lathe. So I'll have the STLs out on Thingiverse. I'll also have the Open SCAD code, which is what I use to design this, out on the Open SCAD site. So if you want to snag it, go ahead. So I want to talk a little bit about this. Now, I've printed this in PETG, so it is a pretty resilient mount. Uh, now, I'm using this little spindle I picked up off of eBay. So it, it's kind of a cute little spindle. comes with a Jacob Chuck. Uh, it's actually got a 110 power supply that has actually a uh, variable speed to it. So it's kind of cute. I'll run some video in the upper corner. Now, one of the things, um, this isn't a super heavy-duty powered spindle, but what I can do with it is you notice I've got a centering drill or a center drill in it. And this does actually work pretty good for doing uh, center holes. Now, again, this thing doesn't have a whole lot of torque, and I wouldn't suggest really focusing on any type of milling operations with it, but if you need to index holes, this will work. Now, the other thing that I also have found this rather handy for is with Scotch-Brite pads. So one of the pieces I do orientate it in the tool changer, you know, think about this as still being up, but in this direction with the Scotch-Brite pad, then I can run it on the outside of my work surface in the lathe with the lathe turning counterclockwise to this and um, it produces a rather nice finish. You can get these in a couple different uh, grit categories and I'll have links to these down below. These are super handy to have uh, for a number of different projects but uh, all in all this this actually turned out pretty good. Now I do have a little bit of an offset issue with the mini lathe you know getting this back far enough from my work surface and so that's why I've, I've designed it a little bit like this sit back. Um, I did create a 3 a 3 8 inch mounting block here that goes into my quick change tool holder obviously then which mounts on the uh, the rack and so it, it, again it works pretty good. Now I'm not going to say that this is perfect but actually uh, the mount is better than the motor. The, the regular configuration here works pretty good. Now I also have the links to this down below um, but my next version I am going to upgrade it to the triple five motor. So I've done a couple of the projects and you see these a lot in the smaller desktop CNC machines. So this has a, little, a bit more torque than this guy does. So I'm going to give this one a go. Um, and, and then also you kind of notice the, the size and the diameter is also a little bit bigger because I've actually got this stanchion that I'm going to mill down that I've got from an older um, uh, hand grinder. So I'm going to, it's got a little bearing and it was connected to a, a small DC motor back here. This shaft is a little bit too big and I don't need this extension so I'm going to take it on the lathe, shave this off and uh, reset the mounting hole and actually I'll use this to set the mount, set the center hole because you can see it's got a little grub screw down here. So I'm going to move that up here, chop it off and put it on the triple five and give that a shot. So I'll have a version uh, out on, on Thingiverse 2 for the triple five uh, shortly. Probably by the time you see this video it'll be out there. Um, so again I've been having a lot of fun with this. This, this, this is actually somewhat practical. So uh, I've been really surprised with some of the stuff I've been able to do with the 3D printer and being resilient enough to use on the lathe for metal where it's been, you know, pretty much the domain. Now what I may do also for grins and giggles, because this really has worked out nice, is do a little bit bigger version out of aluminum on the 3040 CNC to go on the lathe. And what I may do is actually pick up... Um, a 400 watt spindle CNC spindle and use that and mount that on there instead and so you might see a third so anyways let me know what you think of this down in the comments below um, also what kind of modifications uh, could I make to this what other things do you see that uh, could be improved uh, with this but again I'll have the links to this uh, spindle I've done a review on this in the past if I can find the link quickly I'll put it in the comments below so this is kind of uh, handy I use this again uh, separate of this with the scotch brights to actually clean up a lot of my 3D prints because here's an example because I've used the scotch bright pad on this front to kind of clean it up and then what I do is after I do the scotch bright pad I just take it and hit, hit it real quick with a heat gun 
to take away a little bit of this matted finish and it turns out really nice so uh again hopefully you found this video interesting if you did hey give it a big thumbs up again free out on thingiverse for you guys to use personally and uh tell you what the bell icon's over there to remind you to go down and hit that bell icon down below so it gets the print so you get notifications when i release new cool things like this don't forget follow me on thingiverse too i put out tons of content out there for you guys to learn from also, our sister site, uh, OpenSCAD.DIY3DTech.com is a great resource. I did this in OpenSCAD. I do a ton of work. Very powerful program. And Swag Shop's up in the corner. Be sure to check it out. A lot of cool maker kid out there. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we design something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.